hey everyone and welcome back to my channel today it's all about the laundry not so much on the clothing although i'm doing a little bit of that but i will be doing the concentration mostly on the area itself because we tend to just leave it um and just do only the front of the laundry most of the time so a little disclaimer is that this video i started actually two weeks back and i got interrupted and only finishing it off today that's why you will see a different cages on the actual soaps or the laundry detergents that i'm using and by the way i love to use the ariel with a downy in it because it smells so good and it lasts on the clothes and now i'm doing my first um load of um clothing and then later on i'll finish off with the ones in the basket and in this bath here and this carpet on the floor it's got some stays in it so i will be washing it also it's very soft guys i bought it at pep stores or pep um home and yeah it's very very nice and it was not expensive at all so i just want to show you guys exactly what I mean I might also just wash this basket it's a laundry basket that I bought for my daughter a long time ago when she was born and it's still holding up so like I said we usually just like end at the beginning of the laundry when we are cleaning the kitchen and today I wanted to go deep in as you can see there's dust there's all kinds of things on the floor and at the back of the laundry machine itself as well and also water which keeps on dripping when we're draining it off and also behind this box here of um, the vacuum box so that is the plan for this video and then up here as well i will do some decluttering and then um it's just dusting because i did clean this wardrobe when we came in or this cabinet when we moved in and so it's just dust from opening and closing and then up there there's nothing i'm gonna do it's just books and in that box up there there's an old vacuum cleaner that we used it broke and then we just left it up there and then we also put uh clothing old clothing in this cabinet as well so some we're gonna give away and then yeah now it's time for rinsing and i always use this opposed to a fabric softener i like to use this so pure um uh, I don't know it's a detergent but very very light and so I decided to just make it into a fabric softener and yeah so now I am just doing that and then after a few seconds because this is a video you will see me go out there and actually put the clothes out so usually in my videos if you have watched my videos I am in shorts and on my feet and this day I actually planned to go out to do my hair but the anxiety hit me because I hate going to the salons like it gives me so much anxiety I don't know if anybody else experiences the same or feels the same but I hate salons and so I was already in my jeans and everything and then you see later on I'm cleaning on my and, and I'm wearing my boots because I was planning to go out but I didn't go and so um that is why you will see me on a full attire instead of you know my usual self when i do cleaning so that is the reason why but other than that i'm just taking out the first load and then i'll go ahead and do the rest of the laundry i'm left with just a few items um inside the laundry room and then after that uh i will be done so basically this is what is left and then those shoes my boyfriend actually asked him to please take them outside and go clean them up there and then yeah basically this is just the last load and then i'm gonna take everything out and start cleaning the laundry it's such a small space and so i'd need everything to come out and this time i'm not taking out the machine um i will just move it around while i'm cleaning inside the laundry room that's what i'm gonna be doing and then other than that yeah enjoy the video and let's get cleaning
to see exactly what I mean when I say it's really really dusty in here when everything is out you can actually see that it's really dusty I do have a video where I did talk about dust and the effects of it it will be um, showing some way so you can go ahead and go and watch that video so I'm just going to start cleaning here and the sink as well it's not that bad and then take the rest of the stuff out and then carry on with my cleaning I'll also take out everything or take down everything which is on the window pane and as you can see there's all sorts of dust here dead flies and <laughs> everything so i'm gonna take everything down from there and then also i will be taking out this but i'm not gonna wash the machine i'm just gonna wash this because it does clog i do have a video on how i wash my washing machine <laughs> Throughout the video, I'll be using my handy handy multi purpose with bleach, and that's the only detergent, cleaning detergent that I will be using today. And I will use my favorite um, gray microfiber cloth. And I don't, when I'm cleaning, I don't usually have a million cloths that I use for cleaning this and cleaning that. Um, I love to use these gray ones. I will usually have two um, or three of them depending on what I'm cleaning but I usually clean them all over the area and of course if I'm going to the bathroom I will use a different one than the one that I will use in the kitchen or in the laundry room or in the lounge whatever the case may be but usually I don't use a lot of um cleaning uh cloths i just use two or three depending on what i'm cleaning like i said so i'll be using that and just clean a little bit on the windows as well and also on the outside i don't show that i don't know what happened to that footage but yeah because sometimes the birds the birds always just ruin everything so i'll clean a little bit of that i don't think you can see here on the video but there is a, bl a bad poo splatter on the window so i'll clean that on the outside as well
see I buy a lot of these aerial pods because I just love these things if they don't leave a residue on my laundry and I usually do or use this as a storage you know um, containers afterwards and one of them I actually use to keep my kitten hooks and stuff like that so as you can see I use this one for just storing these goodies but these two I don't have a um, plan for them yet I might just give it to my boyfriend and this container I used an eco-friendly uh, laundry detergent and I'm just gonna use it as well to store maybe some refill pods or um, a, ref, uh, a detergent powder later on and then if this one is one of my favorite eco-friendly triple orange bio detergent and there's a little bit left in there that's how it looks like and um the other one that i have is this one oops um is this one that i bought from um crazy store and like i showed you guys this one is the laundry liquid which which is mite free which i use as, as a fabric softener and this one i bought at the crazy store it was about 75 rings if I remember correctly but it's so cute and um, it's perfect for laundry detergents and like I said before I did use a clip from two weeks back which was 3 kg which was finished and then I bought this one um, which is 2 kg but I think this container can fit like a lot more than two or even more than 3 kg in it looking at how big it is you can't even see you know like the soap after i poured it in because this container is huge the camera doesn't do good um or justice on it but it's very big and yeah basically that's what i'm gonna store my future detergent instead of keeping the plastic i'm just gonna be storing it in that container and then like i said i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with this i'm gonna give it to my boyfriend or my store some small little items around the house and then i just throw this away and then in here it's so nice and organized now um it's just so minimal just the way i like it up there some of the clothes we already give them away boyfriend gave it to someone that he knows stays on the street and i took out those carpets just to have for cleaning space and then i'm gonna just put them back in there but yeah basically that's what's happening in this area and then i'll finish off with the floors or the tiles and then while that is drying i'll go ahead and clean the carpet <music> was actually helping me clean this carpet over here she was a cameraman little miss and she also wanted to just do everything that i was doing so with her help i managed to clean and take a video it actually looks harder than it is i'm on my jeans skinny jeans and boots and i couldn't even go on my knees to actually <laughs> result i'm so relieved i was so happy when i 
finished cleaning this laundry area and also managed to do some laundry edit if you have watched until this um till this time you are such a sweeter thank you so much i'm trying to show you guys that you know the end result but the camera is not doing justice because it's already kind of late outside and so the lighting is a bit off but thank you so much for being here and i love you so much bye